this is a quick tutorial on uh, waiting line models or queuing theory analysis. So I'm going to go through two questions quickly uh, to help uh, you understand a little better uh, the types of questions you might get uh, and how to get the answers to those questions. So the first one is a mechanic at a local car shop is able to install mufflers at an average rate of four cars per hour or about one car every 15 minutes according to a negative exponential distribution. Customers seeking this service arrive at the shop on the average of three per hour following a Poisson distribution. Customers are served on a first in first out basis and come from a very large almost infinite population of possible users. So a couple of things about this. These are if you recall the basic assumptions first in first out uh, large population, uh, exponential distribution, and Poisson distribution are the basic assumptions of the single server model. It says a mechanic uh, is working on mufflers uh, and so uh, again you meet all of the requirements now of a, of a basic single server model. Uh, a couple of things to highlight, four cars per hour uh, that is a service rate and remember sometimes you'll get that number as a about one car every 15 minutes you'll have to convert that into hours and you also need to think about making it into a rate uh, and the arrivals are three per hour and again we've got per so we have a rate so the questions were asked find the capacity utilization row, find the proportion of time that the mechanic is busy, uh, find the probability that the mechanic is idle, average number of cars uh, in the system, average number of cars waiting in line, average time in the system, average time in line, probability that of five customers in the system, PK, and suppose the owner of the shop is interested in cost factors, the owner estimates that the cost of customers waiting in waiting time in terms of customer dissatisfaction and lost goodwill is $20 per hour spent waiting in line. The mechanic is paid $12 per hour. Calculate the total expected cost. The shop operates 10 hours a day. So let's go through that question relatively straightforward. We know that mu service time is four cars per hour. Oh, I should. Zoom back out again. Mu service time is four cars per hour. And lambda arrival is three cars per hour. Just check. We're focused here. Yeah, looks good. So A was what is the utilization? Utilization is mu over lambda is equal to 3 over 4 equals 75.75 or 75%. So B was find the proportion of time that the mechanic is busy and that is what the utilization is. That's the definition of the utilization so that's 0.75 or 75%. So the utilization is the proportion of time that they're busy, whether there is no one waiting in line or someone waiting in line, that's the proportion of time, the expected proportion of time that the, that, the, uh, that the mechanic is working. So proportion that, uh, of, or the probability that the mechanic is idle is P0 and that's is equal to 1 minus lambda over mu, 1 minus utilization. It's actually 1 minus the probability that they're busy is equal to 0 0.25 or 25%. D is find the average number of cars receiving and waiting to receive service. So this is number of uh, cars in the system that's equal to L. L is equal to lambda over mu minus lambda is equal to 3 over 4 minus 3 is equal to 3. 
So that means at any given time, your expected, it's not the actual, your expected number of cars in the system is three, and similarly the expected number of cars in the system, in the, in the queue, is equal to LQ is equal to rho times L is equal to 3 times 0.75 is equal to 2.25. So there are on average two, the expected number of uh, cars in the queue is 2.25. We don't round that because it's an expected value and not an actual value. So F is uh, time in the system is equal to 1 over mu minus lambda is equal to 1 over 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So on average uh, cars are in the system for an hour. G is WQ, which is rho times W is equal to 0.75 times 1 equals 0.75 hours. So again, all of these uh, equations are relatively straightforward. It is just plugging the numbers in and getting the numbers out. H is find the proportion, find the probability of five customers in the system Pn is equal to 1 minus rho, rho to the n, so that is equal to uh, 0 0.25 times 0 0.75 to the fifth power is equal to 0 0.0593 or 5.93% is the probability that there are five people uh, waiting, or, or five, five customers in the system. And then the last question is just uh, to highlight what you might do with some of those numbers. So you can look, at, and it, I, I'll remind you, is suppose the owner of the shop is interested in cost factors, the owner estimates that cost of customer waiting time in terms of customer dissatisfaction and lost goodwill is $20 per hour spent waiting in line. That's the opportunity cost. The mechanic is paid $12 per hour. Calculate the total expected cost. The shop operates 10 hours a day. So uh, there, there is the um, service cost is equal to 10 hours times $12 per hour. Even though our utilization is 0.75, you're paying that mechanic all the time, so that's $120. And waiting cost is equal to 10 hours times three, because that's the number of people in the system uh, who are waiting for their cars, either in line or actually getting serviced. Times 0.75, which is, le uh, which is, sorry, rho times 20, which is the dollars per hour. So this is, this is because 75% of the time is equal to $450. So total cost equals $570. So again, this stuff is relatively straightforward. You just need to follow it through. Let's do one more problem quickly. Get my notes here. And, and in this one, we're not going to do the time in the system. We're going to do uh, the service time type question. 
so uh, arrivals three per hour service four per hour so the the same parameters as the one we just got those are both rates so we're okay so what is the probability of 30 minutes or less service time so what is the probability that we get that that uh, muffler changed in 30 minutes or less so the first thing we need to do is this is in hours so we convert to hours so that is 0 0.5 and recall that the probability that actual time is less than or equal to capital T or target time 0 0.5 hours is equal to 1 minus E to the negative mu uh, T is equal to 1 minus E to the negative 4 times 0.5 is equal to 0.865 so 86 and a half percent of the time uh, the the uh, service will take 30 minutes or less and so again that that helps us assess if we're meeting our uh, customer service pers uh, uh, standards or not. So then the next question is probability of 60 minutes or less service time convert to hours P T is next than or equal to 1 is equal to 1 minus E to the negative 4 times 1 is equal to 0 0.982. So 98% of the time, uh, the service will take an hour or less. So remember, this is not an exact, it is a cumulative distribution function. So it says that it, it is up to uh, and including an hour. So that's why this number is bigger than that number because it's included. So the last question, what is the probability it takes between 30 and 60 minutes? So we know this is less, this is an hour or less, this is 30 minutes or less, so then we do the probability less than or equal to 60 minus the probability less than or equal to 30 is equal to 0 0.982 minus 0 0.865 is equal to 0 0.117. So roughly 12% of the time it will take between 30 minutes and an hour. So those are the sorts of guidelines we can use to assess customer service to give uh, the to give the 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 uh, customer a sense of how long things might take uh, and to do it. So in this circumstance, then we have three uh, we have uh, three things to think about. Make sure we know all of the formulas. Make sure we can interpret them. This video shows, or this tutorial shows, how to do some of the basic things. Uh, you'll see them on assignments. Uh, you'll see them in exams. Uh, make sure you can work through it. Two things to remember. Make sure you have standard uh, units. So if it's minutes and hours, convert to the, I mean, you can convert hours to minutes if you want as long as you have consistent units. And the second thing is make sure you have rates. Those are the only two tricks that people can put into the system. So 
very quick uh, and relatively easy overview um, and uh, ask if you have any questions. Thanks.